Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make this super cool uh, low poly train that you see right here. Click Shift A, add a mesh, a circle, and then have eight vertices right here. And then um, click it, and then go to edit mode, then scale it up a little bit. And then um, make sure you have vertices then E, and then make sure it's uh, scaled on the x-axis, unless you want it to have a little bit of randomness, which I don't really care for that right now, but anyways, so I'm just going to have it like that, then I'm just going to get, click E, then S, and then once it's scaled out to like right there, then E, then X, and then I'm just going to scale it up to like right here, and then as you can see right here, it's looking pretty good. It looks like one of those um, things that you jump in from Mario. I can't think of the name, but anyways, just hit F to fill it, and then click I, and then click right here, click G, then Z, and then, uh, okay, so now we, basi we basically have the base of it done. We just need to click Alt, and then F. Okay, now uh, make sure to click Control R, and then go to this and then make two loop cuts with the scroll wheel and then just place them there then click s and scale them out a little bit so now um click Control r down here and then just have one and then uh go into three on the uh number pad so then right here um then what we want to do is i can't have notifications up then um Okay, so right here is about good, and then uh, make sure to shade smooth, then have auto smooth. Now you'll see that has a nice look right there, and then make sure to go into tab, and then just go to these, and then just click G, then Z, and then just bring them down, and then just make it kind of random, So because you know that's what train is like. It's pretty much random so I think that looks good and then down then I'm just going to change this and then just this okay so that's looking really good so far and now uh, basically all that we need is the shading after I just select this then G then Z and make it go down a little bit and then go into UV editing I have a palette pulled up and uh, if you don't just click uh, the open right here and then I'm just going to open my palette and then uh, make sure to select a face uh, face selection mode then select this and then click you project from view and then once you, once you have your mouse on this side and make sure your mouse is on this side of the screen then click A and then click S scale it down then click G and then make it go to about right here and then go to this button right here on the properties then click new base color uh, image texture then just click um, the image that we have pulled up right here and then I'm just going to bring this down a little bit then I'm going to click control I to select everything else and then project from view and also uh, when I say everything else I mean like everything else within uh, this object right here so now I'm just going to grab this and bring it over and for some reason, I really like gradients. So yeah, um, that's basically how you make it look like that. And um, th for some reason, this looks a little different. I, it's probably because of the uh, gradients. You have to do that a little bit differently. And I think on both of these, on these lines, I got to select the lines right here and here. I think they were a little bit more out. Yeah, something like that. I think just more Jurassic. Uh, things like make this go down a little bit more yeah kind of like that yeah that looks a lot more like the other one but you know it's kind of everybody's preference these things around right here like if you want to have a blue one so you could go with like an icy map or something but yeah that is how you make this cool terrain right here and anyways guys thanks for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to comment what you thought below of this video and um, make sure to comment any video ideas you have, and I'll see you in the next video.